Hello guys, welcome back. This is Swift Media. My name is MJK and this is the history of the first vice president of Kenya, the late Jaramogi Ajuma Oginga Odinga, who was born in 1911 and died in 1994, 20th January. So stay tuned, make sure that you subscribe here on Swift Media and tell me what you would like to know about the late Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Na pia uniambie ni nani ambaye ungependa kumfahamu uh, zaidi hapa kwenye sehemu ya comments. Now, Jaramogi Ajuma Oginga Odinga was born in October 1911 and uh, died in January 1994. He was a Luo chieftain who became a prominent figure in Kenya's struggle uh, for independence. He later served as Kenya's first vice president and thereafter as opposition leader. Odinga's son, Raila Odinga, is the former Prime Minister and another son, Oburu Odinga, is a former Assistant Minister in the Ministry of Finance. Jaramogi is credited uh, for the face not yet Uhuru, which is uh, the title to his autobiography written in 1980s during his time under house arrest. Uhuru means freedom in Swahili and he was referencing his belief even after independence from British colonialism, uh, the brutal oppression of opposition in political affairs in Kenya meant that the country had still not attained uh, the real freedom and uh, Jaramogi's son Raila was also in detention for a period of eight years. Now let's jump into early years and career. Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, born in the village of Nyamira, King of Siaya County, Nyanza province to Mama Opondo in Nyamagolo and Odinga Raila, in his autobiography Not Yet Uhuru, Odinga estimates the date of his birth to be October 1911 and uh, Christian tensed Abadia Adonija. He later renounced his Christian names and became known as Oginga Odinga. He was a student of Maseno School and Alliance High School. He went to Makerere University in 1940 and returned to Maseno High School as a teacher. In 1948, he joined the political party Kenya African Union, that is KAU. Spurred to empower his Kenyan Luo ethnic group, Odinga started the Luo Thrift and Trading Corporation, registered in 1947. With time, Odinga and this group undertook the strengthen the union between Luo people in the whole East Africa. His efforts earned him admiration and recognition among the Luo who revered him as Ker, a title previously held by the fabled classical Luo king Ramogi Ojuang who reigned 400 years before him. Vowing to uphold the ideals of Ramogi Ajuang, Odinga became known as Jaramogi, man of the people of Ramogi. Let's jump into the vice presidency. Now, according to Luo tradition, KER yani Ker cannot be a politician. So Odinga relinquished his position as a king in 1957 and became the political spokesman of the Luo. The same year, he was elected a member of the Legislative Council for the Central Nyanza constituency and in 1958, he joined the Kenyan African Union, KAU. He was amongst the founders of the Kenya Independence Movement in 1959 and in 1960 together with Tom Boyer, he joined the Kenya African Union, KANU, that is KANU, when Kenya became a republic in 1964. He was the first vice president. As vice president, he did not agree with Jomo Kenyatta's government. While Odinga had called for closer ties with the People's Republic of China, the Soviet Union and other countries of the Warsaw Pact, Kenyatta was in favor of approaching the United States and the Western Bloc. This led to Odinga's resignation from his post and quitting Kano in 1966 to form the Kenya People's Union, KPU. Let's jump in opposition. 
the friction between Odinga and Kenyatta continued and in 1969 Odinga was arrested after the two verbally abused each other publicly and a chaotic function in Kisumu and where uh, at least 11 people were killed and dozens were injured in riots. Uh, he was detained for 18 months until uh, the government made a decision to free him on 27th March 1971. He consigned to political limbo until after Kenyatta's death in August 1978. Kenyatta's successor Daniel Arap Moy appointed Odinga as chairman of the Carton Lind and Seed Marketing Board. He did not last long in the post, presumably because he was still outspoken against Kenyatta's policies. Odinga attempted to register a political party in 1982, but when Attorney General Charles Njonjo amended the constitution, which made Kenya a digital single party state, his plans were foiled. Following the failed COP of 1982 against Moy's government, Odinga was placed under the house arrest in Kisumu. In 1990, he tried to vein with others to register an opposition party and the National Democratic Party. In 1991, he co-founded and became the interim chairman of Forum for the Restoration of Democracy, Ford. The formation of Ford uh, triggered a chain of events that were to change the Kenya's political landscape culminating in ending Kanu's 40 years in power, 8 years after Odinga's death. Ford split before the 1992 election. Odinga himself vied for presidency and Ford Kenya ticket but finished fourth with a share of 75.5% votes. However, he regained the Bondo constituency seat after being forced out of parliamentary politics over two decades. Odinga died in 1994. Let's jump into private life. Odinga was polygamous and had four wives, Mary Juma, uh, Gudensia Andea, Susan Agik, and Betty Odongo. With these wives, he had 17 children. Mary is the uh, mother of Raila Odinga and Oburu. Mary died in 1984. That is the short story of the former vice president and the late Jaramogi Odinga Odinga, the father to ODM leader Raila Odinga. Remember, he was the first vice president. What have you learned from that? Tell me down in the comment section and please subscribe here in Swift Media for more news updates. And also tell us, ni nani ambaye ungependa kumfahamu zaidi katika uh, maisha yake historia labda iwe ni mwana siasa iwe ni msanii ambaye alikuwepo kama vile kulikuwa na kina Isa uh, kuna pia wasanii ambao wapo sasa hivi ambao wamekuwa kwa industry kwa muda mrefu lakini pia kuna watangazaji pia kuna watu wengi ambao unawafahamu niambie ye, yule ambaye ungependa kumfahamu zaidi hapo kwenye sehemu ya comments na nitakuwa nakuletea hizi historia mara kwa mara hapa ni Swift Media ni follow Instagram Facebook Twitter at @majokamjk